Hey guys, welcome back to another video on TJ's Tech. If you've been considering turning your PC into a living room gaming machine, or you want to set up a console-like experience with your computer, I found a potential solution for you. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I turned my PC into a PS5. As you might know, the benefits that consoles have over PCs is that they're much simpler to interact with. Once you launch your console, you can start gaming immediately, and you don't have to choose the specific launcher or update games from multiple launchers. I'm aware that if you're on PC, then gaming is probably not the only thing that you're doing. But maybe, for example, you want to set up a couch gaming setup with your PC or you want to launch all your games from one place. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install the PS5 dashboard for yourself. Or maybe if you're more of an Xbox fanboy, then the Xbox version as well. This video also won't be too long as this is just a tutorial on how to install the software. The magical program that I'm going to be using is called Play Night. I discovered it recently and while it's been available for a long time, I don't think it gets enough attention. It allows you to essentially turn your computer into a console and to have that immediate interactive experience you get from a PlayStation or an Xbox or I just think it's freaking cool and it's really easy to set up. All you have to do is Google search Play Night and download the program from the official Play Night website. It's got an orange controller logo just to make sure you're getting the right one. Once it's fully downloaded, install it, which shouldn't take too long, and you're ready to go to the next step. During the installation process, you're going to get a prompt to authenticate your different gaming accounts. You just have to choose the specific ones that you've used before. All this does is allow you to sync all your libraries from the different launchers so that all your games are in one place. So here we are on Play Night. So if you want to add a game that's not in one of your launchers, just go ahead and press this button here. Scan automatically, then browse your specific game. My, my game that I'm looking for here is in my Epic Games folder, which is 2K23, and I just have to press this and I add the game and it's going to automatically download the metadata of the game here's the game right here and once the metadata is loaded it's going to fill up your screen with all the details about the game publisher, date of release um, and features that it has which is pretty cool there's different views you can use you can use this grid view where you can see um, all the games in like a grid view and then you have this view which is pr which pretty much lists all the games and also like I said you can filter you can also use this explorer panel here to see the games from different launchers you can also search for the specific game you're looking for you can also get some details here about the number of hours you have in each game so if you want to enter a full screen mode you have you just press you just press the F11 button and just like that you're on this full screen mode you can turn down the interface volume and the background music volume, which I did because that was so loud. So once you're in full screen mode, you can also use this, this mode to turn off your PC and you can also update your game library straight from here. And if you want to exit this full screen mode, you just go back to, you just you either exit play night or you can switch back to desktop mode, which is what I'm going to do. So now what we want to do is we want to make sure that when Play Night launches into its full screen mode, it enters into a Play PlayStation 5 dashboard. So what you do is press the controller icon on the top left corner, go to add-ons, go to themes, full screen. So what I'm going to type here is PS5. So there's a bunch here, but the one I'm going to be using is this first one. Just going to install that. And now it's going to download the theme. And now once you have your theme installed, just go ahead and save and restart the program and now when you restart it and press f11 and enter full screen mode just go ahead and go to the controller icon again go to settings i think it's in visuals and change the theme to ps5-ish and once you're done with that just go ahead and restart the program And now here we are, we have a PS5-ish dashboard. You can also turn on, turn up the music to see how it sounds. I'm just tweaking a bunch of settings here. And I'm just gonna go to audio and turn up the background music. And now here you are. Now if this isn't cool, I don't know what to tell you. I'm just gonna go ahead and launch one of my games here. I'm gonna go ahead and launch Spider-Man. You can install as many themes as you want, really. I'm going to install the Xbox Series X skin. Restart. 
Then I'm gonna go ahead and launch full screen mode again. Just gonna go to settings, general, actually no visual, and change it to the Xbox Series X skin. Restart it. There we go. Spider-Man on Xbox? Confirmed! So now you've installed your theme, I'm gonna tell you a few things you should do to make your experience much more simpler. Just go ahead uh, and go to the settings and make sure you turn on launch in full screen mode and launch play night when your computer starts. So once you've turned on these two settings, launch in full screen mode and launch play night when you start your computer, um, as soon as you start your computer next, it should directly launch into the full screen mode where you're gonna have your PS5 or your Xbox or your Nintendo theme, whichever you prefer. You can download as many themes as you want. There's even an Apple version. I don't even know how that works, but it must be cool. 